John Lewis fought for a lifetime, but always guided us in calm and in a manner that was always peaceful. His ideas deeply rooted the foundation of his faith. Our struggle is not the struggle of a day, a week, a month, or a year. It is the struggle of a lifetime. He imagined the world not as it is, but how it could be. We are tired of being beat by policemen. We are tired of seeing our people locked up in jail over and over again. An ideal that he bequeathed to a new generation of activists. Activists like Opal Tometi, the co-founder of Black Lives Matter. He should know that we'll continue to run the race. Without Congressman John Lewis, I don't think that there would be a Councilman Khalid. Councilman Khalid followed his idol's path from protest to politics, winning a council seat in South Fulton, Georgia in 2017. I was born in 1976. I am the first generation of African-American people that was born with full rights to vote, to go to school, and I owe that to John Lewis. John Lewis chose to make the last public appearance of his life at Black Lives Matter Plaza in Washington, D.C. A final act of grace. It was inspiring to me to see that that was what he wanted to bear witness to in his final days. To be a beacon for other people, it's the thread that runs through his entire life. It couldn't have been a more perfect message. Keep going. You're on the right side of history. Keep going. When you see something that is not right, step something. Do something. You cannot stop the call of history. Freedom, justice for all humankind.